Hi guys, Julie here from Indigo Handmade Design. Welcome to my channel and welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this easy shoulder bag. It's worked with uh, herringbone single crochet stitch and some bubble stitches. This bag is made out of one rectangle, big rectangle and two smaller rectangles. So let's get into it. Okay, so in my today's project, which is a bag, I'm going to use this yarn here. I'm going to leave you the yarn information into the descriptions, uh, description box down below this tutorial. So don't forget to check this out. We are going to work with two strands all the way. In addition to the yarn, I'm going to use a 4 millimeter, a millimeter crochet hook. Um, then you are also going to need, if you want to have the same measurement, um, a measuring tape. Um, you are going to need yarn needle, stitch markers, and I want to line my bag, so I'm going to use this fabric right here. It's a little bit sturdier, so if you don't have sturdy fabric, um, you can also put some felt in between the fabric and your crochet uh, piece. Then you are also going to need, of course, a pair of sharp scissors to cut out your fabric. Uh, what else you are going to need sewing thread and sewing needle or you can also use a sewing machine if you are, uh, if you have one and for the shoulder strap i'm going to use this chain right here um, if you don't have chain you can obviously uh, crochet your own shoulder strap okay so let me clear this off and let's get started okay so uh, to get started go ahead and take your yarn so as i said i'm going to work uh, with two strands and your hook um, we are going to start in the middle of the rectangle so with our bubble stitch Go ahead and make a slip knot and chain a total of 101 chains. Um, for the tutorial, just for the demonstration, I'm just going to chain less. Okay, so once you have 101 chains, we are going to work in the back bump of our chain. And go in your second chain from the hook in the back bump like so and make a single crochet. And again, in the next back bump of the chain, make another single crochet. And this is how you are going to work till the end of the chain. Once you are at the end of your first single crochet row, you are going to chain one, turn your work, and make one single crochet in your first four stitches. We are now working on the wrong side of our work. So I have four single crochets. Now it's time to make one bubble. And to make the bubble, I'm going to use only my silver yarn. Go ahead in the next stitch and make five unfinished double crochet and five now you have six loops on your hook to close all of the uh, loops you are going to take both strands like so and close 
Now make one single crochet in your next four stitches. And four. And now again, you are going to make one bubble using only the silver yarn. So in the next stitch, go ahead and make five unfinished double crochets. So three, four, and five. And now take both strands and close all of your loops like so. And again, one single crochet in your next four stitches and then one bubble. And this is how you are going to work all the way down your row. You are going to end up your row with five single crochets. Okay, so um, to start again your next row, which is a repeat of your first row. You are just going to chain one, turn your work and make one single crochet in your very first stitch and then one single crochet in each of your stitches. Now for your fourth row, you are going to chain one, turn your work and again you are on the wrong side of your work. Now go ahead and make one single crochet in your first seven stitches. So uh, when you're starting your fourth row, you are always going to start with seven single crochets. Now it's time to make a bubble. So you are going to work only with one strand, one shade. So make five unfinished double crochets. And then you are just going to close all of your loops with both, uh, both strands like so. And then make one single crochet in your next four stitches. And then again you are going to make your bubble. And this is how you are going to work your panel. So um, this is going to be your repeat. Okay, so I've made the middle part of my bag. I'm counting only my bubble stitch um, row. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I finished with one row of a single crochet. Now we are going to continue by making the herringbone single crochet stitch. And for this, we are going to start on the back side of our work. So you are going to chain one and flip your work like so. And um, to make the herringbone single crochet, this is a repeat of two rows. So now you are on the back side of the, uh, of the work. Now your chain one doesn't count as a stitch and in the herringbone stitch you are always starting with a single crochet but when you are on the wrong side of the work you are going to go from the back to the front with your hook and then pull up a loop like so yarn over and pull through two now make sure that your um, work it's not tight so um, you need to have a um, looser loop and now we are going to start with the herringbone stitch and for this let me pull in a little bit so this is the um, right side of your work so you are going to go under this bar right here and then from the back to the front with your hook so you are going from the right side of your work to the wrong side of your work with your hook now pull up a loop you have now three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all of your three loops like so 
and again turn your work flip your work so that you can see your stitches under this last um, bar right here into the next stitch like from behind of your work to the front and pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all of your three loops again under your last bar into the next stitch you are going to pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all of your three loops one more time under your last bar into the next stitch pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over okay now go ahead and work like this till the end of the row okay now you are at the end of the row this is your last stitch like so now you are going to chain one and turn your work so your chain one doesn't count as a stitch in your very first stitch you are going to make one single crochet and now you are on the right side of your work so um, to make the herringbone single crochet you are going to go under this bar right here from your single crochet you've just made into the next stitch pull up a loop you have now three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all of your three loops and again into your last bar so your left one right here go under into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all of your three loops again under your la left bar into the next stitch pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all of your three loops and this is going to be your repeat till the end of the row and then you are just going to repeat these two rows for a total of eight rows so i'm going to work these rows off camera and then i'll meet you back to show you how to work on the other side okay so i've made one side so i have eight rows in total now um the middle part of my work measures 10 centimeters the um, herringbone stitch rows 8 centimeters now i'm going to work on the other side of the panel and to do this we are going to start again on the wrong side of the work so remember we've started on the wrong side of the work so take your yarn make a slip knot and then join to your very first stitch okay so this is your first stitch right here you are going to join with a slip stitch and then chain one and make a single crochet now start with your herringbone stitch so you are on the wrong side of your work so which means you are going to work from behind of your work to the front you are going to take your last bar under your last bar and then into the next stitch from behind of your work and make your single crochet
and then again make sure that you are keeping a loose tension all the way um, uh, all the way till the end of the row and uh, basically this is it this is all you need to do on the other side of the panel repeat your um, herringbone stitch for a total of eight rows so i'm going to work off camera and then meet you back again once i have my rows done okay so once you have all of your rows done um, now it's time to work one row of single crochet um, around uh, not all around um, your panel you can do this if you like so i'm going to work right here on on the shorter side of my panel uh, so on both sides um, and you have your herringbone row so make one single crochet in each herringbone single crochet row so you are going to have eight single crochets right here and then once you're in the middle you have your uh, bubble stitch row so it's obvious uh, you are just going to work one single crochet in each row so till the end so i've worked my row of single crochet so um you are now going to chain one and cut your yarn and then go on the other side of your panel and repeat so do the same one single crochet in each single crochet row before attaching your fabric it's time to weave in all of your loose ends and now I've placed some stitch markers so it's easier. So I have 30 um, single crochets and place the stitch marker, another 30 and place another stitch marker. I have 10 stitches right here and placed another stitch marker. And these are my last 30 uh, stitches. So do the same on the other side. And um, we are going to make two smaller panels and for this take your yarn and your hook make a slip knot and chain 11 and then once you have this done go ahead in the second chain from the hook and make one single crochet and then one single crochet in your remaining chains at the end of your first row you are going to have a total of 10 single crochets and this is all you need to do single crochet rows for a total of 30 single crochet rows so i'll meet you back once i have this done Okay, so go ahead and make two of those panels. I'm going to make this off camera. And then once you have this done, you are also going to work one row of single crochet all around your panels. And um, you are also going to line your bag. So if you like, so I'm going to line my bag. I'm going to line also the sides of the bag and then uh, meet you back again. Okay, so you guys, I've already um, lined my bag. As you can see, I've also lined the sides of my bag. So um, just remember, I've worked 30 rows of single crochet over 10 stitches. And then once I had this done, I've also worked one row of single crochet all around my panel um, this way it's um, easier to attach the side panel to your larger panel so to the bag itself um, 
so this is how it's going to look like i've also attached uh, one side of the chain now let me give you a quick look on how to um, attach the side of the bag on this side i've started right here since i want to have my sewing um, in front of the panel now on this side we are going to start right here so here is my stitch marker i'm going to start in the next stitch after my first stitch marker so remember i've told you you have uh, 30 30 10 and the rest 30 okay so um Take your hook and your yarn, make a slip knot. And now search for your next stitch after your stitch marker and go in the stitch. And then do your first stitch on the side panel. And just make a slip stitch. Now again, in the next stitch, the stitch next on the uh, small panel, on the side panel and slip stitch. So basically this is it. This is all you need to do um, to attach the side panel to your actual bag. So go ahead and work like this all the way around and then I'll meet you back here. I'm going to show you how to incorporate the chain while you are crocheting. Okay, so I've slip, sti uh, slip stitched all the way my panel. Now I'm up here. Now go ahead and slip stitch five stitches on the small panel okay so right here you are working on the wrong side of your work so one two three four and five now take your chain make sure that the chain is not twisted And now we are going to attach to the panel. So go around your chain like so in the same stitch. So your fifth stitch and make one, two and three single crochets like so and now also you are working around your uh, chain of course to secure this to your back now you are going to go in the next stitch and again make three single crochets in the same stitch two and three so if you have um, jump rings you can um, attach the jump, jump rings to the side of your bag and then attach the chain. So I'm not using jump rings. And now you are just going to slip stitch your remaining stitches. Three and four. Now chain one and cut your yarn, pull through, give a little nice pull. Now I like to, I can take now the stitch marker off, I like to tie a few knots right here. So this is my starting um, tail and this is the tail that I've made now 
I just like to make a few knots like so just to secure that everything is going to stay in place and now with my yarn needle I'm going to just weave in um, this loose end down the back so I'm going to take one of the tail and hold it like so and then with the other tail I'm just going to sew over just like so and then again tie a few knots and cut my yarn I'm also going to use some fabric um, glue just to keep my uh, uh, threads down. So you guys, this is it. This is the bag that we've made together. Um, now, if you like, I've put some uh, yarn inside just to show you how it looked like. Um, now, if you like, you can attach a um, magnetic clasp right here or a button down here and then just make a chain to close your uh, bag. You can even sew this um, side like so together and it's going to look like this. So. Um, do what you prefer um, thank you all for watching and for joining me today I hope you had fun I definitely did so I see you soon um, with a new tutorial and in the meantime happy crocheting bye bye